Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lala and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made my fried fish pizza. Yes, so here I have some bass filet and I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to that. This is the frozen kind, okay? So um, I'm also going to be adding some salt and pepper to my black, uh, to my breadcrumbs as well. And um, yeah, just going to stir that around just to combine properly, okay? Also, here I have an whole egg. I'm just going to whisk that together. This is going to be our glue to glue our bread, uh, breadcrumbs onto our fish, which is going to make a very nice golden brown crust. Okay, so I dip my fish into the egg and now I'm going to put it into the breadcrumbs. So I'm pressing down on the fish so all of that just sticks on. Okay, we're kind of trying to get the fish and chips type of feel on our fish but not with the batter just you know a nice crust all right so I set that aside I'm just gonna do the same with the other fish as well just make sure to press that down to, to get all those wet spots covered okay So now here I have my oil preheated on medium heat. I'm just going to fry my fishes up. Make sure your heat is not too high or it's, it's going to brown too fast on the outside and it's not going to be fully cooked in the middle, okay? And we don't want no raw fish, okay? We don't want no raw fish. We don't want no raw fish. Anyways, so make sure to make sure, make sure your heat is on medium heat. So when that's done, um, just take that out. And now we're going to be making the pizza dough. Okay, so here I have my flour. I'm adding some salt. I'm actually using a different recipe for, other than my 15 minute um, pizza dough. So yeah, so I'll list that in the description box below. And I'm also adding um, bread machine yeast. Okay, you can use um, instant yeast or traditional as well. But yeah, I decided to use the bread machine yeast today, all right? So I've added that and now I'm mixing it together so it combines properly and then I'm going to be adding some warm water, okay? Make sure your water is warm. I'm not into the whole, um, it has to be a certain degree type of thing. No, I make sure it's not too hot or not too cold. It's just right, okay? So I added that to my flour and then I'm just going to make it mix until you know it combines properly. So it's a bit sticky, I'm adding a little bit more flour. I actually measured out my flour, just added it a little bit by bit so you know because sometimes the temperature in your house will you know either you're going to need more flour or you're going to need less flour. So. I did measure out according to the recipe that I got off Pinterest so I usually use the same amount every time I would say so yeah I'm just adding it bit by bit so when it's ready you'll know when it's ready after after the the dough um, no longer sticks to the, the bowl but um, it's tacky not sticky you know what I mean you could tap it and it's like tacky but it won't stick to your fingers type of thing so here I have my bowl greased and I'm just going to put my dough in here and I'm just going to turn it so it's, it's coated in the, the oil and then I'm gonna cover it and pop it in my microwave okay so here let's um, do some sauteing okay so we're gonna be sauteing some vegetables here and um, I'm using some onions I'm using red and uh, green bell peppers just for proper color it doesn't really matter which bell pepper you use okay I just like the colors together so yeah that's what I'm using so I'm just gonna um, slice my my bell pepper like you know just like you see me doing the long way 
and um but you can do you can chop it up into however like you know smaller pieces if that's your thing do your thing hey you know what i mean so yeah so here i have my pan preheating and i added a little but bit of butter if you've never tried this method with the butter you should y'all oh my gosh it gives the vegetables a good taste um i don't use oil when i'm sauteing vegetables i just use a, like a tablespoon of butter and i'm good to go okay yeah so i'm just gonna saute that until my onions are um translucent so i don't want this to be so soft i want it to be crispy and soft at the same time you know what i mean all right so now my dough has risen I'm, i actually cut that in two it's good enough for two um medium-sized pizza and um i would say 12 inch pizzas right and um yeah so i'm just going to spread that out as best as i can and then i'm just gonna start adding my toppings okay so here i'm using some tartar sauce for my base yes tartar sauce because it goes good with fish so that's what i'm doing that's my base so i'm just gonna spread that out until it's well um covered okay we're going all the way to the edges today we're, we're not leaving no rim we're going to the edges okay so here i have some mozzarella cheese i'm adding that so my toppings will stick to the actual pizza if you just add it to the sauce and then you add the cheese on the top what's going to glue it down right so that's what i'm doing so here i'm just um adding my sauteed vegetables and i'm just gonna spread it out a little bit and um yeah guys oh my gosh you don't even know my mouth is watering because this pizza is amazing it's flavorful it's not overbearing or whatever you know what i mean it's not salty it's not it's just right and so here I'm, i just i'm just breaking my fishes up it doesn't have to be in any particular size or whatever however you want it that's how you do it okay so I'm just breaking it up with my hand and yeah and then I'm adding a little bit more mozzarella cheese on top just to glue that together when I pop it in the oven and there you have it anyways you guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you remember to like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one thank you and bye